Okay, so I've been playing around with some ideas and I started working on page one with the image on one side and the text there and then I started thinking, okay, page two is going to look a bit different and I didn't get around to doing the heading and now I've realized that perhaps instead of being just three pages, this website might become very large. And so to save time, I'm going to make a template and in order to take a template, to make a template, I firstly identify which are the areas that are going to change. Now the footer is going to stay consistent throughout the whole website and certainly the navigation and the header area are going to stay consistent. So it's just really this central area contained within the main body div where I'm going to be creating the template. <clears throat> so in order to do that, I'm firstly going to empty out this main area and that may be easier to achieve in code view because you can see where the <clears throat> main area starts. Well, there's the logo, sorry. And then down here, we've got the header and that finishes. And then you've got the main area and then we've got these two sections. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, so that's the main area. I'm going to delete that. If I go back to design view, we can now see that the main area down here is empty. And with my cursor inside there in split view, I'm going to now insert a template item. So I'm going to insert an editable region. OK, an editable region. And this will ask me if I automatically want to convert this document to a template. And I do. I'm going to call this main area. And now I'm going to save it as a template. So I go file, save as template. Remember, not one of these. You choose save as template from the choices and it's going to go into the test two area and I'm going to call it dog test one. Okay. Because this may not be the first test that I ever make and it will update the links. And so I've now created my first template. We'll examine the characteristics of this in the next video.